So hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We are getting ready to do, I guess, part two to my Big Chop. So when I initially first went and Big Chopped my hair back in June, she didn't cut all the heat damage off because I was like, yo, I'm not ready to be bald head yet. Um, but at this point, I'm just tired of literally trying to detangle my hair with the two textures and it keeps getting like tangled and matty and it's just so annoying and it's actually worse um it does even more damage to your hair because it breaks off and so like the part of your hair when it when you're transitioning that's like the most brittle is right where your curl pattern ends and then the straight piece begins and that's normally where it gets tangled at and you tend to tear and so it's like, I'm just tired of that. So I'm going to, based on my poll that you guys did on Instagram, which I'll insert somewhere in this video. By the way, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Join the gang, join the family. Um, follow me on Instagram too, because that's just a fun place to follow me. Uh, more of me, more content. So follow me there. And then, um, like I said, we're just going to go ahead and just... I don't care what it looks like when I get done because hair is just gonna grow back. Uh, but like I said, the back is already completely, um, except for like random pieces like this here, but the back for the most part is already cut to what it needs to be cut to. Um, I, when I first did my big chop, that part of my, it was, it was a tapered cut pretty much. And so I'm just tired of trying to, these are like, I can't do wash and goes. It makes my twist outs harder because I have the band to bantu knot or use rods and I'm just tired of it. Um, healthy hair is more important than long hair um, because essentially healthy hair will get you long hair. So why am I going to keep hanging on to these dead ends when at the end of the day they're not going to get me anywhere but kind of keep holding me back from really growing my hair like how it needs to grow. So um so this is what we're doing today. We're going to go ahead and cut these off. Now I am going to put my glasses on because I'm not trying to cut all my hair off. Um, and two, my hair shears are dull. So I'm actually going to be using a regular pair of scissors, which is what you should not do. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to roll with it. Um, I need to adjust from what I can tell, I need to adjust my phone and the whole setup right now. Um, so I'm gonna put my glasses on, I'm gonna adjust the setup, and then we are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so yeah, do y'all see that? Like that just looks so terrible, it's so dead and damaged. Who wants that? Um, so yeah, I am gonna have to kinda, I may not cut it all the way down just because the middle of my head I have to see what that's looking like up there but for the most part all of these gotta go so let's do this all right so I have getting ready to section my hair off I'm gonna go ahead and put the back section back since I already know like this is pretty much I'll probably double check back over this but this is pretty much even for the most part in the back and then we are going to get popping with the front. Um, essentially, the bulk of my heat damage is just this crown front part of my hair. So um, that's all I'm really focusing on because I have to see what I'm doing. God, I look really crazy. Um, I'm just going to part this down the middle. I'm doing this on wet hair just because it's a lot easier to see. Um, just because it's a lot easier to see where the damage is when my hair is wet so um let's get to it i'm using my as i am leave-in conditioner and i am going in and just getting rid of the shirt pieces
nothing too crazy. I mean, it's literally dead hair. It's no good for your hair anyway. And everybody wants to have natural hair, but nobody's willing to let go of their dead ends. It's like crazy. What we do here is go back, 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 back. So now I'm about to start on the other side of my hair and we are going to um, roll with it. Thank you. 
All right, you guys, so I am all finished. I am just going to go back through and clean up any little piece, stray pieces I may have missed, but for the most part, your girl can like have a fro and be great. It just looks a thousand times healthier, a thousand times better. <clears throat> and I didn't cut. I mean, it's not like I had to cut my whole head. I literally just cut what the last little bit of straight pieces were left. Um, curl pattern is peeking through. Okay, come through. Um, and I guess that's like one of the benefits too of letting go of your straight ends because you can actually begin to see your curl pattern um while you have straight ends you can't really see that um i mean you can kind of see like from the root to the where the straight end starts but like you don't see your complete curl as you could um you know if you dead at all those straight ends so i'm just happy like i can see my curls i can probably now do like a curly fro I can actually do like a wash and go and ooh, my glasses are so dirty and your girl has not been able to do that for a long time um, just because the middle part of my head was like the same it was like a different texture and I mean you know it was like straight still a little bit and I'm like I'm tired of this so your girl can finally have a curly fro oh wait a minute i'm too excited because we still got some straight pieces back here we're gonna get those sis just wait on it we're gonna still get these look at that that's just like dead hair like look how oh. ah! i love my hair all right you guys so essentially i just muted the clip here because i just kept rant kept on ranting about just his haircut but pretty much um i ended up 
doing a twist out style which i will insert a picture at the very end of this video so you guys can see how it turned out um but you know healthy hair is way more important than long hair and on this journey of natural hair i want to be 100 percent natural to really give myself the chance to be able to see how much my hair can actually grow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and for those of you that voted on instagram i hope you guys really enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching so this whole video will be purposeless i forgot you guys to show you guys how much hair was cut off so like i said it's not that much but just enough to give me a fluffy fro and a healthy cut i will see you guys in my next video